All right. After greatly bemoaning my performance, I've been playing quite well. We are up uh, around 40 points in starting. So knight c6 is important here, for c3. Queen c7 stops bishop f4, which is white's development scheme. Bishop g4 attempts to keep it stopped, and now I have time to play e6 and bishop d6, and I control the f4 square, and I think black is a little better. But then I blundered this. That was clever of them. Um because I couldn't take back h because my rook was hanging, hadn't seen this idea in this line before. Uh, they're threatening to take on g6 there, so I get out of the pin, try to play e5. Uh, I think I'm okay with the um, the isolated pawn here, though obviously I'm not over the moon about it. Is there any use in like queen b6 check? I'm gonna play g5 and h6. Is this crazy? Yes. I'll save the a pawn. And maybe knight h5 f4 is useful. Where does my knight go? Okay, we'll take back queen. And they're going to go for the end game. My king's a little more active, but their pawn structure is better. I'm going to play g6 so there's no knight f5. Then try to get my king to e5. If f4, I might have knight g4. Um, okay, maybe bring... I don't know where I'm bringing the knight. Uh, let's go to c5. Try to play d4, trade off my bad pawn. Sure, your king still can't advance. All right, let's lock the pawns while I have knight c5 under control. But I don't have good ways to waste turns here. And they might. Try to get knight f5, but uh, this is loose. So you can play knight b7. It's a big problem. I'm gonna try to get king f5 in. Okay, and we're out of time. Totally forgot about the clock. Excellent. All right. O for one. Okay, we'll play one more. We're one and one against them. We'll go for another English. Got to focus on the clock. A uh, friend did say he likes my videos, but he's always screaming like, "What's <laughs> you know?" Pay attention to the clock. So now Queen D two comes with tempo. I'm gonna play H three to stop Knight G four. Now I can't easily castle Queen side, but I can play F four G four F five. And it's a little hard for them to take on f4 with their bishop on e6. Though actually, it turns out, it's totally fine for them. Um, and they should have taken on f4, and it's not a big problem if I take on e6. But they didn't know that, so that's cool. All right, we're going to castle. They're going to play g5, and then we're going to try to build up for d4. And just say, I have space everywhere. The computer loves these positions for white. I have knight d5 whenever I want it, but I'm not sure what it does. Now I also have knight e6 sometimes. Um, okay. Play knight d5. Do I ever want to take on a7? I don't think so. Um, but I do probably want to build up to try to play c5. And instead, I'm almost getting my bishop trapped. But not quite. Uh, bishops are pretty bad here, uh, though this was my good bishop. So let's try to lock up the d-file. Um, maybe play c5, or b5, I guess, would open up the... Um, hmm. I'm not sure. Don't know what pawn I want. I definitely want to push a pawn. Let's push b5, because that's the one that doesn't immediately blunder anything that I notice. Uh, okay, I'll take. They can't take back immediately. Ooh, they did get it off their bishop. Now they have to trade a pair of... Ooh, they didn't. Uh, so, all right, so we're in good shape again. Um, let's try to trade queens. I almost thought I might have slipped away my queen, but, you know, didn't this one time. And now we'll play rook d6, try to take on f6. Okay, I can take this one too. Uh, do you have a second check? I don't know, probably, but whatever. I don't see it. I'm going to play rook d7 next. Okay. And instead, I'm probably going to clock. Nope, got him. All right, no rematch to this person. They're just trying to clock me. And I am very weak to being clocked at the moment, so not a, not a favorable matchup, even if I uh, get the better of them on the board. All right, and I am going to be faced by the mighty Karakan. Now, I don't know what to do here. I know you're supposed to play e5. I never do well with e5 against these things, uh, these KIAs, King's Indian attacks. So I'm just going to get castled, uh, try to undermine their pawn. Don't allow e6, I don't think. And just try to put a little pressure on their queen side. Maybe rook b8, b5, b4. All right, we'll start with a5. Maybe b6 and bishop a6 and trade off their bishop. Or at least make them fight to hold it. Okay, try and trade it off. Uh, sure. 
How are you going to hold b5? Easily, as it happens. Um, okay. Play for the c file. Can I bring pieces there? Not really. I would play b3 maybe if I was them. Ooh, they found a cleverer way to do it. Um, yeah. And I hate my position all of a sudden. Um, okay. Take a pawn. Pawn is yours. And you get a queen trade. And it will take me a while to try to unravel this, but maybe. At least I'm not getting mated. I'm good at mating myself in the King's Indian attack. Uh, sadly, my knight's pinned, so I have to play this before knight c8. Ugh, horrible position. I'm so glad their bishop isn't developed yet, or this would, uh, they just play rook a1 and I could, uh, resign safely. Uh, bishop f8 to b4 is one potential tactic. Alright, knight c8. That's a move I wanted to get played. Happy to have it. I would like bishop f8. Don't think I want that trade. Bishop f8. Try to get my rook somewhere. Do I want it on b2? Do I want it on a5? Let's poke here first. Uh, sneaky. Um, okay, I can take the pawn, right? Because my knight will still defend. My knights still defend everything. Um, okay, make a check. Might be mate. Try to get off the back rank. Ooh. I think we're self-mating there. Rook f7, knight g5. Very lucky they were low on time. Going a little faster than I thought I would. I think that's two for two, and beaten I am. Can we get to 2400? Which for me these days is, you know, big deal, big deal. Alright, so I'm going to go for a bishop d6 line. Just quickly question their bishop. Try to get it off the board. Play c5. Um, okay, don't pre-move knight c6 there. Uh, queen d4 grabs a pawn. Is it worth it? Sure, maybe. Worth a try. Let's get castled. Then try to get my queen out of dodge. Whatever that phrase means. I mean, I know what it means, but I have no idea what it comes from. I can take that, but I've already grabbed one pawn. I don't need two. Um, okay, just got to get my bishop out. Ooh, I might have c-file problems, though. This may have been... Yeah, this was risky. But... I'm optimistic. We have this currently defended. Bishop b5, rook c8, which rook? I'm going to pretend this one, but I'm not sure. Try to play a6 next turn. And instead, just be... Maybe a move too slow? Not sure. Okay, a6. Let's just try to trade things. Uh, yeah, let's just try to trade the most we can when we're up a pawn. Uh, queen e8, just so when the rook moves, they still have something to think about. I bet e4 is coming. I was wrong. We're going to get Luft. Get my queen off the back. Kind of like the queen on f6, but I'm not sure why. They have rook f4, and then I have to make some concessions. But that's okay. We never cared about pawn structure. Ugh. All right. Um, thought they were going to go somewhere else. <laughs> they did not, as it happened. All right. Hit f2. And walk into mate. Brilliant. All right. Two for three. Ah. <laughs> Did not deserve it 2400 with that one. Huh. I don't know. Um, there's probably stuff to learn for from from for bleh, learn from that game. But so many games you just like guess a move and it just guesses wrong and that's just gonna happen. So we're grabbing the pawn again. We hold on to the pawn, we don't need bishop b4, we need to defend the pawn immediately. Now when they play a4, we need to pin a defender. A5 is the critical move. Take on c3. Very important to play bishop b7 before playing b4, so the a5 pawn isn't pinned. Bishop d2 is, is not the right square. Castle, knight d7. Try to play e5. So we're preparing e5. Looks good. Threatening e4. Can we swing over to, like, rook g5 and just try to mate them? Give it a try? Uh, don't believe in it. Alright, um... 
Let's try to get to queen c6, maybe. Okay, just come back. Uh, sometimes we'll have maybe queen f4, but not yet. All right, we'll defend the knight while sort of pointing at their king. So far, we've kept everything together. Okay, we can push the pawns. Their rook on a1's a little loose. My queen's on it, so there's some potential they blunder there. Okay, let's keep pushing the pawns. I guess we blundered one, but... Uh, B2? There should be four. They take on b2, a4 hangs. They play bishop c2, I have rook a2. It should be three. Didn't see that, but I think I'm just up a rook. All right, queen h4 looks good. They play g3, take h2. Other rook comes in. Try to swap bishops. Make sure they can't get a queen. Got their king off from the pawn, or from uh, supporting the pawn. All right, uh, another win. Uh, that's two for three, three for four. I don't know. I think I'm doing well, though. I made a bet that by... Uh, uh, this video won't be going... Ooh, problematic pre-move again from me. All right, let's just regain the pawn. I made a bet that... Uh, not a bet, but uh, me and a bunch of friends each made a challenge if we have to achieve a certain rating by... Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Um, I should stop talking while I... Or stop talking about things other than the game. But that we would each achieve a certain rating by um, early next week. Just attacking e7, blundering knight c4. But, you know, maybe they missed it. Uh, now getting my bishop almost trapped. But not quite. So I'll be just happy that we got out alive. Trying to get knight to d6 or c5. Does he either do much? Eh, not really. Um, okay, cement the knight. Could maybe take on d5? I don't know. All right, let's pretend this softens up their king. I do not want to trade knights. Can I avoid it? Many ways. Okay, it's ugly, but maybe we can move fast. I'm gonna play e3 actually next. As I said, I'm gonna play e4, never mouse slip ever. So, uh, yeah, one big old disaster. All right, that was bad. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, so this is Tuesday, and by Monday of next week, I have to get up to 2424. So see how that goes. I think this will be my last game in the session. Of course, we just mouse slipped move one. Um, so we're going to pretend we're whatever this opening is. Tori attack? Tori attack? Uh... Sure. It seems like a good way to defend the pawn. I guess it wasn't. Ah, they didn't believe. They did believe. Um, okay, I really don't want to lose b2. So I'm going to give up my bishop if I get the chance. Uh, take. And take. And your king looks mighty silly, sir. Can't castle now. This must be good, right? All right, not too scared. I feel like my knight on d4 is pretty good. Play knight a3. Got to get to c4. Knight f5 almost is sneaky, but actually isn't, because they can just take and play knight e5. But kind of looked clever. All right, they didn't. They believed. Uh, can I take on c4? I think so. Um... I feel like I must have some sneaky uh, mating net here, but instead I'm just going to come to d7. Queen a3, almost a threat. If I play like rook d5, that might be a sneaky way to prepare queen a3 to uh, cover their blocking square. So yeah, that looks like a kind of clever way to do it, and that should win. Ooh, against a good opponent too. Uh, okay, I'll take rook. 
and rook d8 is almost clever. It is clever. Now, gotta pretend I can play with any speed at all. Okay, we're gonna try to back rank them. And we're gonna get them. Nice, good win. All right, they want a rematch. I did say that would be the last game, but we gotta give a 25-60 a rematch. I was once that back in the day. All right. So they're speeding up. We're gonna take the pawn, we're gonna hold the pawn. Now we're up a pawn. Seems great. Okay. Okay. Don't see it. They still don't have e4 threatened. Maybe I'll play knight a4. Ooh, no, I don't want to play knight a4. Um, that was a blunderous idea. Okay. Try to play queen a8 is my dream. Okay. I'll take. And I guess defend the pawn. Um, knight on d5 looks nice. I don't know. Queen check. Maybe they'll blunder. There's always hope. Uh, sure. Straight queens. Oh, uh, they have rook a6. Oops. We'll pretend I saw this. Kind of good pretense, actually. Now if uh, king g2, I can take on e3. So their idea is probably e4. All right, gonna play rook b2 next. No, I'm not. That hits e4. A little annoying for them to defend sometimes. Okay. How are they gonna take? That way. So I want to sidestep any checks. And it's the best way to go about this. Okay. I'm just going to take this because if I can get all the pawns off, I can draw without blocking. Yep, they thought the same thing. So we're just gonna get their pawns off the board. Yeah. And annoy them duly. And now they're just gonna play for the clock. Oh no, they're not. Oh uh, yeah, they are. We're gonna try to run the king over. I guess we're just gonna get clocked. Well, oh, it's still a draw. Nope, it's not. Uh, well, we're not giving a rematch after that. I think uh, we will end the video there.